Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Start the time. Timer is started. Boom. TNT, do you believe in karma? I think we may have talked about this before, but do you do believe in I karma believe in general? believe in karma. Karma. The ideal that good things happen when people do good and bad things happen to people yeah, who do Yeah, it's like bad. you have like a running tally and it like comes back to you. I do not believe in karma. Okay. No. All right. Not at all, not even in the slightest. Not in the slightest. I think that if you do bad, bad things will happen to you because obviously you're doing bad, and what you do will catch up with you eventually. Because eventually someone's going to come back and get you because yeah. you've, you've wronged the wrong people. But, but yeah. The, but on the same note, like the nicest, sweetest old lady, you live a life of poverty and like sorrow, where in like people who are like cheating and lying and stealing will live a life of luxury until you know. Yeah, and you know the what? day they get caught. And you know what? I think that actually. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Like, I, I do somewhat believe in karma, but like, I guess now that you, when you stay, it almost changes my view a little bit because it's more like if you're doing good things for people, you're more apt for someone else to want to do something good for you. Yeah. And if you're doing bad stuff to people, you're more apt that someone's going to come back and beat the crap out of you that you did something to them that's bad. Exactly. So it isn't so much like if I help this old lady across the street, I'm more likely to win the lottery. It's more like. If people always know I'm being good to people, they're more likely to help me out if I need help or yeah, something. Yeah, I believe you reap what you sow. That, I mean, yeah, so that, that's something. That's that. Yeah, that's and that's karma-ish, but not yeah, quite. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, but anyway, so where this is leading mm-hmm. is I there. It's a really it's a really crappy story, but there was this uh, this 72 year old lady. This happened in California. Okay, a guy beat the crap out of her and steals her car. <laughs> like literally beats the crap out of her. I know the story too. And then he he gets into and then he wrecks the car and dies like down the street. And I'm like, yep, sure did. That's karma. <laughs> that's karma <laughs> coming back to get you right there. Like you beat the crap out of an old lady and steal her car. You deserve to get murdered in an accident like two minutes down the road. He really did. I mean, he, he he shouldn't have stole the car. That's for damn sure. Like or just she's old. Why you got to beat the crap out of her? She would have just gave oh, it to wow. you, man. <laughs> Like if you threaten an old lady, who's gonna who, who's gonna stand? She's gonna stand toe to toe with you and try to fight you. <laughs> you could have pushed her down and took her car. You didn't have to like punch her in the face and like because like they had a picture of her. She had a whole black and blue face. Dang, she was like, "I'm not giving you my car." Yeah, right. Like you're gonna have to take dude, it from me. I'm I'm nowhere near seventy two, and if someone came up to me and said, "Give me your car," I'd get out. I have insurance. Yeah, well, that old lady, she didn't think that that was gonna be the case. Yeah, right? So, I mean, you know, he, he got his, I guess. You yeah. Know, that, that, that'll teach him. Yeah. Have you ever tried <laughs> to, learn like... the ultimate lesson. Have you ever worked at a store or tried to stop someone from, like, stealing or committing a crime or doing something? Or were you more the person just like, oh, it ain't bro. my stuff? Yeah, it ain't my stuff. Right? They don't pay like, me enough for that. That's why, like, people, like, when I used to work at Blockbuster way back when I was, like, in my 20s, people would be like... Oh man, let somebody try to come in here and steal a DVD. I'm like, what are you gonna do? They're like, I chase it. I'm like, over a nope. ten dollar DVD. Get the nope. hell out of here. They can nope. take nope. all nope. the DVDs. Nope. Yep, and you can have those DVDs. <laughs> right? I don't give a. I'm not getting shot over some goddamn preview DVD of, <laughs> they can have every of uh, single... Monsters Inc. Right? The hell out of here with they can that. Have every DVD of Click. By right, Adam Sandler, that they can eat. exactly. The only t- actually, what I did do though is when I was a store manager because I was actually responsible for the store. There was a guy who kept coming in and cutting open the cases and stealing DVDs. Oh, really? And I was working one night and saw that he was in there and he had cases in his hand that were cut open. And I called the cops and had the cops come and grab him. And he had a knife and DVDs in his pocket and he got arrested. Oh, but like, yeah. I didn't go up to him and try to stop him. I literally was like, "Hey, we have a shoplifter in here," and they came and. And uh, like accused him, and he was like, he had been he stole a lot though, dude. He had like I thought like I thought I was gonna get in trouble because he got, he would always come in when I wasn't working. He'd come in at night. I worked during the day, uh-huh. and the only night I worked was I'd work one weekend shift on the e- it, like to like ten on the evening, and I happened to be in the store and noticed he was he was in there, and I was like, <laughs> oh, good thing the first night I'm working and he's in here. I caught him. You lazy a holes. They probably were letting him steal. <laughs> So I, I have a similar story, but I was actually a part of the uh, the group that got detained. Oh, for, no. You were being a criminal? I didn't, I didn't say that. It's actually it's a pretty good story. All right, so well, yeah, a, fr- a friend of mine, me and him would always go to, uh, or him and I, would always go to uh, Hills to, okay. go, to go shopping. I would get like Reese cups and action figures. And he was, uh, I think, maybe like three years older than me. 
and he would get whatever he would get. Um, well, one time we went to Hills and we would walk because it's where we're, the toys are, by the way. The, it's a very old jingle, but we would go to Hills, and I remember this one specific time we were coming back, we were walking through the parking lot, and two guys in suits. Oh, like they were like dressed up in full suits? Yeah, we didn't even make it out of the Hills parking lot. We made it almost to the road, and two guys in suits come up, and they run up from behind us, and they say, hey, you guys got to come with us, and we're both looking, and I'm like, no, we don't. Like, I don't even know you. are like, no, we have you on camera stealing. And I'm like, what? <laughs> And they're like, you know, you got to come with us. And both of us not realizing that we could just be like, no. <laughs> right, what, yeah, they like, what called, are you going to do? They could have called the cops and the cops yeah. could have came and, yeah, whatever. But yeah, yeah. we could have just walked away. But like both of us not realizing because we're kids. We're like, seriously, I was like maybe like 11 years old. Oh, gotcha. Happened. Okay. And he was maybe like 14. So, so we're just like, all right, I guess we'll just go back to Hills and go take our just desserts. Yeah. And then we get back there. They take us in the back room. They separate us. And Oh, no. They did the full interrogation. Yeah. And so he got caught on camera stealing batteries. And I remember a few times he would come from whenever we went to the store, he would come back and be like, yep, I got this and I got this and I got this. And he'd be like, oh, dude, you're crazy. I'm not doing that though myself. He was like, man, I'm going to show you how to do it. Never showed me how to do it because he got caught. But uh, yeah, the guy comes in. He's like, you're clean. We got nothing on you. Uh, your friend is saying is that he, he you didn't even know he was stealing and you weren't running interference for him or anything. So you're free to go. I was oh, like, what a good friend. Yeah, he, he was yeah. a stand up guy. Yeah, yeah. But it was still, I mean, it was still like, you know. Like, it was a traumatizing situation for me, and since then, obviously, I, I've never shoplifted because I kind of saw what happened. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, God, that's awful. Yeah, so they called yeah. his parents. His parents were pissed. He got grounded. Yeah, that whatever. was like, I think I told the story of my grandma. Like, I, I wanted gum. My grandma told me no, and I put it in my stocking calf. My yeah, grandma yeah, yelled yeah, at me yeah. for having it. I was like, I never stole again after that. I was yeah. like, oh, God, grandma's going to be mad at me. I don't See, want for to. you, it was the grandma. For me, it was the freaking uh, customer service. Men in black. <laughs> Feds that came, came and gotcha. out. Uh, there was some friends of mine that I knew. They used to before Walmart kept their cigarettes like in lockdown. Yeah, they used to steal cartons of cigarettes from Walmart, mm. and they got caught. Um, cartons of cigarettes. Yeah, dude, and Jeez. that's probably why Walmart started putting them behind the counter. Oh, guaranteed, because those cartons of cigarettes twenty dollars. Uh, back then they were, yeah. Right yeah, now, like, God, now they're probably ten dollars a pack. That's probably like a hundred dollars for a carton of cigarettes now. Is that how much cigarettes? I are? don't know. They have to be, dude. I don't know. Do you, can you Google it real quick? Alexa, how I, I, I don't have my hey, phone. Oh, okay. Let me. You know, uh, you know me. Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, I know cigarettes are more expensive. Let me, let me um, I used to live next to like a, a Native American reservation indigenous people reservation i don't uh -huh. know the proper nomenclature and you can get them a little bit cheaper there but i know that it's crazy it's kind of dependent on the tax though new york has a crazy tax on it i know for sure um i don't know what the it tax says is the average Texas. cost per pack is 696 okay that's not too bad and, yeah it's it's uh yeah so and it says it says uh 23 states are below and, but whatever. But yeah, so after tax, you're talking almost $8 a pack, though. Minimum. And you know somewhere like New York City is probably like 10 bucks a pack. L.A. probably. Yeah, New York City has always been a little bit more expensive. I think it was like uh, I used to date a girl in New York who smoked, and she would go to the Native American indigenous people. Because there wasn't a uh, tax. Yeah. And yes. even, even there, she was paying $40 for a carton of cigarettes. $70 plus tax for a carton of cigarettes. And you that la Jeez. if you smoke a pack a day, that's 10 days. $210 plus tax a month to smoke a pack a Yo, day now. I don't like smoking that bad. No. See, you know. Smoking isn't that bad if you don't get addicted. If you just want to smoke a cigarette here or there, like I wish that smoking wasn't addicting because smoking a cigarette or a cigar or whatever so often wouldn't wouldn't be bad. But the problem is you get addicted, then you just start smoking them all the time, then you just like all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's a big tobacco and nicotine. <laughs> Let me just hand all of my money to Philip Morris. Yeah, you turn into turn into J.P. Morgan's J.P. Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Where did, he, where did he come in? He's the play? banker, but you know, whatever, dude. It's cool. It's fair. Yeah, dude. Uh, but yeah, man, I don't know. It's like, it's stealing is weird. Like, stealing I get, is weird. I get stealing hmm. out of necessity. Like, if, if I was a parent and I was broke and my kids were hungry, I could see like trying to steal some, like the whole oh, oh. Cl the cliche, stealing some bread for your camp fam. But like, if you're like trying to steal because you're broke and you can't, I kind of get it. But, like, people who just steal the steal for the thrill, mm -hmm. like, can't you jump off a plane or something? Why you got to try to steal? Okay, so here's my thing. Okay. 
I'm perfectly fine with stealing if I could get away with it. <laughs> like, I would love to, if I could 100% guarantee I would get away with stealing, I'd steal everything. Yeah, you just don't want to go to jail. I have no problem with stealing. Don't steal from me, though. <laughs> oh, gotcha. It's okay if they steal from you. Okay. Unless you, like, get pissed off and you're like, no, I got to find it. Then I'm like, yeah, I'm pissed off with you. Gotcha. Yeah, so don't steal from so me. So if I don't care that someone steals from me, you're okay with it. But if I care, then you care. That's, yeah. a good, that's a good friend i yeah. like that all yeah. right well anyways that's all time we have <laughs> but uh steal steal all you want I'm, if you're right if you're willing to go to jail for it don't get caught yeah it's under 500 dollars isn't a felony i think <laughs> is that right i don't know that, okay. just google that count me uh, in challenge the crazy is our website it goes to the youtube channel subscribe there for jonas uh, we out